My name is Jonathan Shaw, I'm 20 years old, and I'm HIV positive. So since I found out that I had HIV, um, like I said, I have a really good support system. All of my friends have been very cool, very understanding, very, you know, just been there for me. They've all understood. Um, give or take a few, you know, friends or whatever, they, you know, that left me or, like, didn't want to hang out with me, they obviously weren't that great of friends to begin with. They're not somebody that I would have, like, wanted to hold on anyways. My parents, on the other hand, they are supportive, but only to a certain extent. They, they obviously love me. That's not, you know, a question in my mind at all. They, they, you know, they, they're wanting to be there for me the best way that they know possible. I just don't think that they understand exactly what I'm going through. And I don't think they understand how hard it is sometimes to, like, you know, be like, well, shit, you know, I could die. When I found out, I had not told my father or my mother or anybody in my family that I was bisexual. First scene I did with the whole parent issue was pull my mom upstairs to my bedroom because I did not want to tell my father at all. My father's Navy, military. Does not look highly on the queers at all. Sucks, but oh well. I brought my mom upstairs and I told her. She was sat there. Didn't cry, which I was confused about because usually parents cry. Looked at me, didn't even say a word. But after we talked a little bit, she didn't eventually did open her mouth and say something. She said that she expected the worst when I went to the hospital and got a bunch of my and got all of my testing done. Which sucked. It was about two days after I had actually had gone to Athens, Georgia to see of Montreal, which is probably one of my favorite bands, the date. But anyways, that doesn't have anything to do with it. So I went the next day I was in the kitchen and my mom asked So, so when are you gonna, gonna tell, tell your father? father? I responded with when I'm ready. I don't want to tell him yet. It's not something that I'm interested in. I don't want to put myself out there and tell my father that I have HIV. I don't want to tell him that I'm bisexual. I don't want to tell him that I've been with men. She kind of turned it around on me. She said I was manipulating her on was to keep this secret about myself from my father. It's not her secret. It's my secret. We got into a huge fight. Like, huge fight. Mom started crying for the first time over the subject, and that probably hurt me the most. And... I flipped out, absolutely freaked out, went outside, my dad was power, like, washing the windows, was, told him to shut it off, looked at him in the eye, told him, hey, guess what, I have HIV, I have a boyfriend, and that's just how it is, went back inside. 30 minutes later, like, me and my mom were sitting at the kitchen table, so, you know, we were already in the conversation talking about stuff. My father comes in. I was expecting the worst, but what I got was kind of funny. He was like, well, hell of a way to tell your father that you have HIV. I just started cracking up laughing, and, you know, we had a conversation, we talked everything was actually good to go. I think one of the reasons why I wanted to bring up the family experience was because I'm sure a lot of you out there are having problems with the family experience. Or, you know, you had ex problems with the family experience and your parents don't talk to you or, you know, you have issues or something. You know, some parents are more supportive than others. What I want from them is love. All I want from them is to know that they're going to be there for me, especially in the hard times. Leave it at that. That's probably, like, my story of my family. Um, as far as my extended family goes, only a few know. Uh, my grandma was probably one of the easiest to tell. But at the same time, she was probably the most person, the person that I didn't want to disappoint the most. She's, to me, my inspiration and... The person I look up to the most.
I always end one of these blogs with the fact of the day. So for today, um, here we go.